Okay, greetings. Since there's not another video like this on YouTube that I could find that shows most of the primary light mods for the Godox 8200, I thought I'd show you most of the primary ones. So this one's incredibly cheap. This is the Godox Standard Reflector for the 8360 and the 8200. It's only $8. I got a couple of these because I'm going to modify that one. But this is it. It's actually incredibly lightweight. I've uh, got this uh, diffuser uh, head taken off. And uh, this is the uh, standard reflector that actually fits over the bare bulb of the Godox um, 8200. This uh, diffuser actually pops out and you can actually buy a kit. And let me uh, show you the kit over here. This is the filter kit on um, Amazon.com. It's uh, $13.99. What it does is it comes with um, four gels, which I've got tons of gels. I don't need those, but it comes with the appropriate honeycomb grid, which pops right in place just like that. And there we go. But if you wanted to actually swipe out the gels, this, uh, this uh, neutral diffuser pops out. You could pop in red, green, blue, or yellow, but I'm not going to use those. I've actually got better gels that I can actually place behind this. So that's uh, $10 or $13 for the honeycomb and the gels and uh, $7.99 for the uh, standard reflector. Let me set that over here. And uh, let's next go to... They called it the Flashpoint Dome Head, but it also sold underneath the uh, Godox one. It's a uh, fourteen ninety five, and you can actually modify it, and I am going to modify it. You can do a couple different things with it. It's also incredibly lightweight. There are three metal screws here, and this has a. Uh, it's hard to do this one hand. Hold a yes, a semi sphere. Um, this is the dome diffuser for the uh, bare bulb head. Um, by the way, while I'm mentioning it, I thought I'd show you this. If uh, you're going to throw your stuff in the bag when you're done to protect the bare bulb, there's these. Metal tubes that are five dollars on. Um, well, they have them on Amazon, but they also have them on Autorama, and uh, these protect uh, the bare bulb. Just pops right off. So, this fits over top of the bare bulb. But what you can do, as my buddy told me, and uh, I'm gonna make a mod. I'm gonna show you in a second. Is remove these three screws, and this uh, bottom metal plate comes off, and this acts as an umbrella reflector. So you insert your uh, bare bulb. Godox um, into this with the uh, dome removed, the plastic dome removed with those three screws, and this acts as a umbrella reflector, and uh, it directs most of the light back into the umbrella, so you get an extra stop of uh, light by uh, using just this base alone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this base and a standard uh, professional studio strobe. This is an umbrella reflector. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to modify this and take this uh, plate, since it fits with the Godox 8200 head, and insert it here and permanently affix it. I'm going to make a really, really nice uh, umbrella reflector. You can have all the lighting in the world, but if you don't have lighting control, it's just like vomiting light on stuff. And that's the same as having a bunch of horses but no fence to corral them it's like where's your horses well they're out there somewhere well, without control you have nothing you can buy all the lighting in the world once again but without control which is what these devices are so let's uh, next go to i'm not gonna do a mod um now with the uh, bare bulb head but with the uh, with the speed light head which is attached to you right now and this is it you can take a look at it. It's called the Godox BD-07. It is $28. It's actually really tough and very well made. It comes with a 30-degree built-in honeycomb. It also comes with this uh, gel set, which I have over here right now somewhere. But uh, it's actually all metal uh, barn doors and, uh, of course, metal 30-degree honeycomb. It's actually extremely well made. Packs up, protects the head. You're not going to damage it or break it. For $28, actually, I got this as a kit um, when I got uh, one of my Godox 8200 units. So that's the barn door kit uh, for the Speedlight Head. Now, this kit's a little overpriced, but it's well worth it. And this is the Godox 8200 accessory kit called AKR1. It is $59. And what this does is it goes with the... Um, the uh, round head, which is $79. Actually, everybody with the Godox 8200 should buy this. The only thing that, that is in here that's different from the bare bulb, it actually has a xenon tube, a curly xenon tube in it, but it also has underneath that, a, you can almost see it, a large LED. 
So you have three different um, outputs of modeling light and the uh, xenon tube. And then there's just a, uh, a small version of uh, the reflector in the bottom. Um, actually, if you take this apart, it looks exactly like this, but smaller, with an LED and a xenon tube in it. That's all the uh, round head is. But let me get this out of the way. There we go. So it's basically just a uh, protected um, bare bulb head with um, an LED uh, modeling uh, light underneath it, which is beneficial for um, autofocus. But let's go on to this accessory kit that I was telling you about, the AKR1. It's $59. I don't know why they show it with this leather case. It doesn't come with that anymore. Here's the stuff it comes with. It comes with some uh, filters that are not all that useful. I've actually got some of my own homemade gel filters in there. It comes with a reflector card. Not useful at all. I can make a hundred of those within five minutes. It comes with a nice set of barn doors and it comes with these three magnetic rings. You can't see it, but there's magnets embedded in the round head right here. And you get these five, technically six, because this is two pieces, but really just this barn door here, which is magnetic. This uh, diffuser dome, you can see the magnets right there. It just pops right on just like that with magnets. And also too, these are also magnetic. And what this is, is the filter holder. You pop the filters in here in the back and you twist them five degrees and it locks the filters in. This is a diffuser head. Okay. And really nice, a uh, honeycomb grid, which if I, I don't know if I could do it one handed or not. Maybe I can't, maybe I can't. I think you get the point. And there you go. These pop your honeycomb grid on uh, the top there. It also comes with a snoot, which I find completely useless. I've always hated snoots. And also, too, all of these uh, filter attachments actually stack on top of each other magnetically, of course. Duh, right? And so they all just go just like that. Isn't that cute? Is this worth $59? Actually, it is, but it is overpriced. Let's be completely honest. Um, so that's it. Uh, I think that's the only YouTube video that shows the primary um, light mod for the Godox 8200 uh, bare bulb head. And don't forget the $5 protection tube. And don't forget my sponsor. <laughs> my sponsor for this video is a triangle space okay it's afterlife not life insurance but afterlife insurance for your pet lizard go to www.deadlizards.com yeah no this is fake yeah absolutely yeah but this is my sponsor it's triangle space afterlife insurance for your uh, pet lizard triangle space um, make sure to enter the coupon code uh, tattoo freak and uh, that will get you 50 percent off not your first order or second, but your 10th order, you will get 5% off your 10th order if you go to www.deadlizards.com, which is not a real website, by the way. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like these videos. And uh, I like making uh, interesting content that's concise. Maybe I was a little bit too verbose, but I'm always guilty of that anyway. And um, Remember, all the lighting in the world is useless without control. It's kind of like having a really fast car with no steering wheel. It's like having a parachute with no steering toggles. You know, I think you get the point. You can have tons of power, but no control. It's useless. Right? Useless. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.